those commercials that talk about retirement and how important starting your retirement planning is. For me, I would normally just kind of tune out thinking I'm not old enough to consider that or that doesn't really apply to me yet. It wasn't until my grandfather gave me an article, a newspaper article, talking about the importance of planning retirement early on in life. You're all in college for a reason. You all want to get a degree, you all want to find a stable career. But what about after your career? I understand that retirement might be the last thing on your mind. But the number one thing to remember is that the earlier you plan for retirement, the better off you'll be in the future. In my opinion, talking about retirement and everything it entails can be very confusing. So in order for us to better understand it, we must first address the basis of retirement funds, different types of retirement funds, and we must also answer some frequently asked questions. So how do retirement funds work? Well, just like any other bank account, you have to start with a contribution into the account. People normally take a percentage of their paycheck um, and deposit that into their retirement fund. If you need to contribute a small amount and just steadily increase your contributions over the years, that works just fine. Just the more you contribute, the better off you'll be in the future. And with technology as it is today, uh, donate, just depositing money into your account is as easy as going online or launching an app on your smartphone. And retirement funds also have compounded interest. Just as savings accounts at the local bank have earned interest in the year, retirement funds have compounded interest. What this means is that the interest gained on your starting deposit into this account will then be deposited into your starting account. For example, let's say you invest $1,000 into your retirement fund. Over the course of a year, you earn $100 in interest. That $100 will then be put into your original $1,000, leaving you with $1,100 as your new balance. Here's a much easier way to look at it. So you can see your $1,000 starting, $100 interest, $1,100 at the end. And that just carries over and you can see the pattern. And this is just three years of interest. You can imagine what it would be in 35 or 40 years when you retire. I mean, it can be a substantial amount of money. Now that we know the basis of how a retirement fund works, let's discuss the significance of IRAs. What is an IRA? Well, it stands for Individual Retirement Account. People choose IRAs because they offer the most tax advantages. There are three types, a traditional, a Roth, and a rollover. In a traditional IRA, your funds are pre-tax. So when you withdraw money during retirement, you're not going to be taxed more than a typical income tax. The second one, a Roth IRA, means that your money is also pre-tax, and it has the ability to grow tax-free over the years, which, as we all know, is very nice. This is different from traditional because when you retire and with, wish to withdraw money, you aren't taxed at all. For a rollover IRA, that simply means that you can transfer funds from one retirement account to another. Uh, normally this happens if someone switches jobs and wishes to go from a 401k to an IRA. It offers the same benefits as a traditional IRA. Now that was a very basic description of the significance of IRAs, but aside from explaining the different types of IRAs, there are other questions that people commonly have when saving for retirement. Like one, when should you start saving? Pretty much everyone is going to tell you as soon as possible. Usually when people are in their 20s, they begin to earn regular paychecks, and most of the time, they'll take those paychecks and deposit, like I said, a certain percentage into their retirement fund. The earlier you save, the more opportunity you're giving yourself for your money to grow over the years. How much should I save? Well, that's pretty much entirely up to you. Uh, banks often have contribution limits between five and $6,000. That's the maximum amount you can deposit into an account per year not required, you don't have to deposit that at first, because oftentimes our age, we can't really afford to deposit that much into an account. According to CNN Money, uh, financial planners recommend that you set aside 10 to 15% of your annual income for your retirement. And if you want to, like I said, you can increase your contributions over the years. What are the advantages of starting early? Well, we pretty much touched on that. Early funding provides more opportunity to make more money, and everyone wants more money in retirement. This is taken from Fidelity, and it shows just how advantageous 
saving early can be. The blue is someone at age 25, orange someone 35, and green someone at 40. And you can see clearly the person at age 25 is well off in their retirement. I understand that those numbers are probably not going to be the same for everyone. We have different annual incomes, different contribution limits, but the idea is the same. The earlier you save, the better off you'll be. Sometimes it helps people better understand explanations with visuals, just like this one here. But as for the message I'm trying to get across, it doesn't take much to understand. We've discussed the basis of retirement funds, we've discussed IRAs, and have answered some commonly asked questions. But let's keep the most important point in mind. The sooner you save for retirement, the better off you'll be on retirement time. Yes, it might seem out of your reach at the moment, but I assure you that once you retire, you'll be very thankful you started saving at such a young age. If you're wondering exactly how much to save, there's multiple resources online that even have investment calculators that tell you how much you should contribute in order to reach your retirement goal. I've put some well-known companies on here. I'm sure you've, you've heard of all of them. Um, they give you financial advice. You can open a retirement account with them. I mean, it's really easy to work with them. And since you're all college students, I encourage you to look into any of these or any other company you feel comfortable looking into. No one should have to worry about retirement. It should be a stress-free time. It should be relaxing. We shouldn't have to be stressing about money because we've pretty much been doing that our entire life before. So why not save early? In order to not be stressed during retirement, you have to plan early. There's no better time to do so than now. 